Here's my chicken and dumplings. Little bowl of soup beans. Look at that, warm roasted peanuts. That's a lot of good looking candy you got in there. Thank you. White peanut butter smoothie. Guys, right here where we're parked at Carver's, there's even apple trees right here. Many of you guys have asked us about this place, so we're going to take you in, show you around, get something good to eat. Okay. Look at the big boy. We got the generator going, the air's on for him, and he's getting ready to eat. It's the old fashioned candies right over there. I see some things. Look at those big trees. It's pretty. Mm He's -hmm. sitting up here on the hill, real pretty. Uh, Cosby, kind of in between Cosby and Gatlinburg. Adventure awaits. And here is the market. I think what we'll do is uh, go in and grab something to eat, and then we'll come out to the market and the sweet shop, okay? Okay. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. You can see it's a beautiful area here. Quite a view out there, there. Look at that. So the order is in. Yes. Here comes some bread right now. Thank you. Yeah. I ordered chicken and dumplings, and for my sides, I got mashed potatoes with white gravy on them and fried apple slices. But I ordered the um, freshly ground chopped sirloin, pinto beans, and cornbread, and mashed potatoes with white gravy. Looks like some yeast rolls that they brought out. Yeah. It's a pretty typical roll. It's not homemade, but it's got a good flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, the food is here. Yes, here's my chicken and dumplings, mashed potatoes, and Fried apples. I wanted to get something apple here. <laughs> yeah. And grab some bread, some cornbread, muffins, little bowl of soup beans, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and a chopped steak. So I'm putting some cornbread in my beans. Do you like cornbread in your pinto beans? Give it a try there, see how the thing comes out. That's the waitress on the potatoes. She said, get the mashed potatoes. They're made from scratch. Yeah, homemade. Oh, the chicken and dumplings are really good. Yeah, those mashed potatoes are good too. A little bit of chopped steak. The chopped steak could use a little bit more flavoring. Those apples are real good. That's excellent. I can tell these apples are good. They have cinnamon and some sweetening in them. So I'm thinking about putting some A1 maybe on. This needs some flavor, you know? Yeah. Enjoy this beautiful view, mm -hmm. this food. I'm gonna tell you what we think about everything. Yeah. And look at the other, uh, other places, the yeah. market and the candy place. Yeah. So we ordered an apple pie. For sure.
and you can see 321 down here. It's really easy to find. Just look it up. Pretty up here, isn't it? It is very pretty. Now we're going over here to the market and then over to the uh, Stacy's Old Fashioned Candies. And my dad would go crazy for these tomatoes. You know? Look how, look how big they are. Marinated mushrooms, pickled something. And then here you can get whole apple pies are fourteen fifty. Or you could just get a single apple pie. Here's some pumpkin butter. Look at all the apples. It's big in here, isn't it? What is that? Some kind of soap? Tennessee Mountain honey soap. Medium peach salsa. Here's all kinds of syrups. Pumpkin spice, blueberry, there's all kinds in there. Cinnamon peach, butter pecan, blackberry. Honey. Big pollen, seven, honey bears, four. What's your prices there? Put all we got. Fuji, Pink Lady, and John of Gold, I guess. Oh, twelve dollars for half dish. Oh, uh, this is the seasons. Carver's apple cider, pasteurized, seven dollars. The muscadine cider is eight. These are all jellies over here, and you got some sugar-free jellies and jams, better flakes, and corn. There's some uh, homemade molasses made from sweet sorghum cane. Seven dollars a pint, twelve dollars a quart. Look at this mechanism over here. Comes all the way through here. There's some ham, berries. Lettuce. What'd you say? Oh. Pistachios, pecans, cashews. The canning room. Mm -hmm. Peaches. Well, they've got uh, lots of different kinds of jerkies over here. Onion ring batter mix. Here's Calhoun. Yeah. Ben Look at there, Patrick. I'm to show you guys something on all of the uh, Calhoun Ben Meal. If you look on the top. Right there it says, can you see it? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It's good stuff too, you ought to pick some up. Here's some more. Asparagus. Do you like asparagus? I love asparagus, but not pickled and not hot pickled. And there's southern hot chow chow. Some old fashioned peaches. Cucumbers. Beans. Look at that, warm roasted peanuts. Hmm. Wine sap apple butter. And you got apple cider, some cantaloupes, some watermelons. And there, this is sugar dolls. Seedless. Look at all these nuts over here. They're all peanuts. All nuts are $5 a pound. Oh, that's a lot. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, tub full. Alright, on to the sweet shop. And there's white chocolate cherries. That's a lot of good looking candy you got in there. Thank you. Their peanut butter fudge is called white chocolate peanut butter smoothies. And milk chocolate peanut butter smoothies. Well, we better try a piece of that. I want you to look how little those moon pies are. It's tiny. Setting out here. 
Some rocking chairs. The birds singing in the mountains back there. Back of that sign has a scripture on it. Yeah. We stopped here under a shade tree. I'm gonna try a piece of this fudge. What, what was it called? Smooth? White? White peanut butter smoothie fudge. What do you think? It's good. Don't have a really strong peanut butter taste though. It is good. Mm -hmm. It's it, almost like a little butterscotchy in there. It reminds you of a smoothie. Mm hmm. Because it's smooth. Get it? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Okay, before we go, we wanted to tell you what we thought about the food. Yes, um, and before I forget, the, the total for our food before tip was thirty-two sixty. Yep. And that included our dessert, pineapple okay. pie. Okay, yeah. So I had the chicken and dumplings, mashed potatoes with the white gravy, and fried apples, and it was all yummy. <laughs> I licked the platter clean, yep. so to speak. <laughs> and y'all saw what I had. I thought the ma mashed potatoes and gravy were really good. Fresh homemade beans were excellent. Cornbread, um, not quite as fresh. Had a good flavor, but uh, it was good. Chopped steak was just a little bit dry, folks. Mm -hmm. Not complaining. It was. Now, I, let I Karen, tasted of it. I let Karen to taste it to make sure I was on, on that. Yeah. But, yeah, it wasn't juicy, so. And I didn't get it well either. It was medium well. Yeah. Now, I would come back here, but I'd definitely get something different. Uh -huh. I mean, I'd probably get pinto beans and cornbread again. Yeah, but maybe fried chicken or... Yeah, something like that. Or barbecue. They say their apple cider barbecue sandwich and pl platter's good. Yeah. So. We enjoyed our visit here. There's several things to do. you got the candy shop. Great candies. If you're going into on the, down into Gatlinburg or uh -huh. leaving, hitting the Interstate 40, you can stop in here. And the market's got a lot of great places if you're camping mm -hmm. or staying, mm -hmm. staying nearby so that's going to do it for us here mm -hmm. at carver's apple house restaurant and their big orchard. old name isn't it yeah their orchards and their candy shop until next time we're fridays forever bye bye everybody bye everyone okay question is what is he doing what's the boy doing um, i say he's running around barking I hear him barking. Yeah, I can hear him barking too. A little rascal. He's at Babby's bed. You want to tell everybody bye? Hmm? You want to tell everybody bye? Say bye-bye. <laughs>